it's raining on someone's parade okay that's the download i feel like some type of I feel like some type of enforcement just tried to do something. It's thundering. Some type of enforcer just tried to do something, but they were stopped. Their plans were halted. It started raining on their parade because they felt like they had passage. They had... This was going to be their moment to strike, but something stopped them. So, hangman. So, Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this energy? It just rained on someone's parade, Holy Spirit. What is this about? What is this that I'm picking up on? Cut a death on the devil, Holy Spirit. What would you like for us to know? Please and thank you. What is the message at this time? Let's see. Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, somebody was coming in for the kill. Somebody was coming in to cause some type of ending or tragedy for another. But they were halted in their tracks. The reference I got literally, literally was, it is raining on their parade. So whatever they were heading to do, which was this Ten of Swords energy, they were halted. Something stopped them. What stopped them? Look, Knight of Swords with a chariot. I'm trying to tell you somebody was about to come attack somebody. Lock them up. Do something within those realms, okay? Because whoever this is, I don't feel like this was like, this is someone who has some power and authority with this Knight of Swords to the Chariot, okay? But something stopped. Something rained on their parade. This Chariot energy, this Knight of Swords energy, they were driven in this direction to cause this Ten of Swords to someone, but they were halted. Seven of Cups. Clouds started to form. Their path was not clear. It was not as it was not as clear as it once was, I'm hearing. Whatever they whatever intel these people were about to strike. So whatever intel they had that let them know that they could strike, something came in and thwarted those plans. I'm hearing thwarted. We have Virgo, King of Pentacles energy. I feel like this is who is just trying to plan an attack on somebody, execute an attack. The attack had already been planned. But this is who was in charge of executing this, this attack here, this raid. I, you know, I'm picking up on raid energy, okay? But he was not... He did not have foresight about whatever this seven of cups was that came in and caused the confusion, caused him to be unable to execute this ten of swords. Who was this king of pentacles Virgo energy coming from coming for Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. We have king of wands with the eight of wands. It's given maybe some, I ain't going to say bounty hunter, possibly a bounty hunter here, this King of Pentacles. But he was looking for a King of Wands who's been on the move with this Eight of Wands, who's been able to slip and slide by him with this Nine of Cups, okay? He thought he knew where this King of Wands was. He thought that he was going to be able to finally get him. But this King of Wands escaped. Because some type of Seven of Cups energy came in and clouded this King of Pentacles' way. His line of sight. His plans. What was that, Holy Spirit? So, I don't know. I feel like this King of Wands is temperance. The Holy Spirit is who came in and thwarted this King of Pentacles plans, okay? 
this roguish energy that I'm picking up on. Because even if he got the authority or the power or the abundance to do what he's doing, he's still not warranted to do it. That's why the Most High God stepped in and intervened and allowed this King of Wands to escape. I'm telling you, this was divine intervention. That's what that Seven of Cups was. And they, this King of Pentacles was not able to catch this King of Wands. We have the Empress. This King of Wands divine intervention may have come in the form of his Empress. Simply praying for him. Y'all think it's a game. I be telling people to do that. My clients, people I counsel regarding their, their twin flame journeys, their divine counterparts, I tell them, if you truly feel and believe that that is your twin flame, that that is your divine counterpart, you need to pray for that man. You need to pray for that woman. Okay? And the way you're going to know if that is in fact your divine counterpart is if when you pray for them, pray that God protects them, pray that God reveals what they need to see, pray that God heals them. You will see evidence that your prayers are working in their life. That's how you really go know if that's your divine counterpart. If you pray for God to reveal to your divine counterpart who is for him and who is against him, and you see where he falling out with people and having issues and problems and shit, that's because you, he is spiritually connected to you and your prayers propelled him in the right direction, okay? So that's what's happening here. Whoever this empress is, this is she is this king of wands, divine feminine, and this woman has been praying for her divine masculine. And I'm telling you, those prayers allowed divine intervention to kick in with some situation that he was trying to escape from. And this King of Pentacles chariot, Knight of Swords energy was not able to tend a swords this man. This man got somebody on his tail. Why? Holy Spirit. High Priestess. Because of something he knows. Secrets he's he has. That he knows, look, seven of swords. Something that he seek that they that this king of pentacles feels he's done deceit deceitfully. And this king of wands may have taken this action behind the scenes, thinking that this king of pentacles wouldn't find out. But he has found out. What exactly did this king of wands do? Death with the five of cups. I'm going to go ahead and just say my little disclaimer. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. But somebody masculine is being accused of possibly murdering somebody, y'all. It's out here. Five of Cups with the death. He may be involved in someone being unalive here. He may know something about a plan to hurt and unalive somebody. And... You know what I'm also hearing? And this is a shame. This is a shame. What I'm hearing. I, I even almost hate to say it. Hierophant on the bottom. There's evidence that this masculine knows about a plan to unalive somebody. And the person that was supposed to be unalive was this empress so this empress is praying for her twin flame but her twin flame knows about somebody else wanting to harm her clarify holy spirit page of cups This woman has been making offers to the universe for this king of wands, okay? And I'm telling you, this king of wands is this empress's twin flame. But he's going through some type of karma, some type of dark night of soul energy right now. And part of his 
Dark Knight of the Soul is having to deal with this situation. This masculine knows about somebody trying to unalive his divine feminine. And this may have happened in the past when these two people were on some type of breakup or separation. This masculine wants to make amends with this empress now. He knows he knows the truth now. That's what I'm hearing. He knows who she is now. But there's evidence that this masculine tried, not tried. He, he know. This masculine knows about somebody trying to hurt this divine feminine. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Six of Pentacles. Justice is somebody that he was given to and receiving from. So whoever this King of Wands was dealing with, they had them plan to unalive this Empress because of her connection to this King of Wands now. Nine of Swords back on the bottom. It's somebody that he was given to and receiving from, and he been trying to run away from whoever this Six of Pentacles energy is. But in him running, the police been running behind him because they know what the Six of Pentacles plan to do against this Divine Feminine, y'all. That's why this King of Pentacles is on this King of Wands' ass. Now, this King of Pentacles, I feel, is trying to put it on the King of Wands completely. I don't think he's, he's making... Look, Three of Cups, because it's not... It's not the King of Wands who came up with the plan, who tried to execute the plan, but he knew about the plan. Yo, yo, whoever I'm talking to, your divine masculine, your twin flame knew that his karmic lover, the person he was giving to and receiving from, was planning to hurt you, was planning to unalive you, 1221. He knew about it. That's just as bad. But... You've been praying for your twin flame, and it has been keeping him out of harm's way, but, you know, I don't know. Because whoever he was celebrating with, whoever he decided he wanted to be with over you, this Queen of Pentacles energy here, he most definitely was in a partnership with this person. This is your culprit. This is who had conspired with someone to kill you, to unalive you. You think I'm playing. I even hate to say it. I hate to say it. Okay, but whoever she was conspiring with, whoever she partnered up with to come up with this Seven of Swords energy against you, the Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords action, okay, I feel like that person didn't want to be involved anymore. They ate a cups this plan. They put it into this plan to harm you. And I feel like they told some form of law enforcement about what this woman was planning to do. And they've been watching this karmic couple because I have to call them what they are. This masculine even being involved with a woman like this. Even, even deciding to give to and receive from a woman like this. And he's very apologetic about what he did. He he wished he could have a future with you. But he gonna have to give up on that shit. Because he knows about this action that he didn't necessarily take. But he was well aware of. That was gonna have you in the tower. And now it's got him and this, this queen of pentacles in the tower. Both these people in the tower right now. This King of Wands is running from the police. We're going to clarify exactly what's going on with this Queen of Pentacles in a moment. But I do feel like she put the blame on this King of Wands somehow. Whoever she, whoever she conspired with, they put the blame on this Queen of Pentacles and this King of Wands. No, they put the blame on this Queen of Pentacles, and this Queen of Pentacles put the blame on this King of Wands. Clarify, Holy Spirit. That's why both of them in the tower. 
Because whoever this Emperor Hierophant energy is, this is uh one of this is the powers that be. Okay, this is who this person she conspired with to unalive this empress went to and told what was going on. Okay? And I'm telling you, this Queen of Pentacles then put it all on this King of Wands. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Because her ass was in the tower at first. Six of Swords, but she didn't got to be able to move on to calmer waters. Because I'm telling you, she didn't set this King of Wands up. And this man is trying to avoid law enforcement. He know what these people did. So he ain't, like I said, he ain't completely innocent now. He in regret. But it's crazy. That's why you got to be careful. Like, you know, I ain't trying to be funny, but you got to be careful who you pray for. You got to be careful who you feel sorry for sometimes. Because sometimes people done did some old ill will ass shit against you that you're not aware of. And you out here praying for their safety and praying that nothing happens to them. Meanwhile, they... They sitting up listening to motherfuckers plot out your demise, plot out your ending, the ending of your life. And that's literally what's done happened here. Now, this empress did save this king of wands from getting caught up by this king of pentacles. But I think that's why this is coming out, too, because you, you might want to stop looking out for his best interests. You might just want to ask God to reveal who this person truly is to you yes they are your twin flame but this ain't no twin flame maybe now he's hope he's he's in this regretful energy because something that fell through with whoever he was partnering with this queen of pentacles here but i'm telling you this queen of pentacles then part partner with this king of pentacles against this king of wands that's why I said at the beginning, he wasn't always 100. He wasn't always on the up and up. Because he's allowed this Queen of Pentacles to convince him that all of the blame should be placed on this King of Wands. That's why she was able to move on to Common Waters, even though she is the one. She is the demonic energy, most definitely, in this situation. She is the one who partnered with someone to cause misfortune and loss for this empress to have her in some type of dehabilitated state four pinnacles with the five of pinnacles if if they weren't going to unalive her they were going to try to cripple her disable her cause her to be broken in a way that she couldn't be easily repaired okay So, I don't know. I don't know. I really feel like this is coming out because God wants this empress to know she needs to stop trying to look out for this man energetically. Like, this man need to learn his lesson. He's been running from learning this lesson. And even though this King of Pentacles ain't solid, his effort to get this King of Wands is not unwarranted because this King of Wands was well aware of the plan to hurt his divine feminine. He wasn't worried about letting this Empress know what was up when he found out about it. Oh, no, he wasn't. But see, there was, there's been a turning point in the situation because the universe ain't going to let no karmic ass queen of pentacles and her flunky take out one of his divine beings, especially if this woman is standing in her divine purpose and doing what God has ordered her to do. They, they ain't got a shot in hell with that. Something happened and these people were exposed and I'm about to get another deck to clarify. Something happened and these people were exposed. Okay. And this man running scared, wishing
situation he could make up with this divine feminine that he knew somebody was trying to unalive. But he ain't try to say or do nothing, child. Nothing. Ten of swords po poking out right here. Ten of swords and the ace of pentacles. They really was trying to unalive this divine feminine, y'all. But there was some kind of turning point. That caused their plans to be thwarted. I'm telling you, this King of Pentacles, the reason why he ain't even, why God is still letting this Empress's prayers go through for this King of Wands is because this King of Pentacles ain't on the up and up. He didn't let this karmic ass energy manipulate his ass. Okay? She done manipulated her ass right up out of trouble when she was the person who orchestrated it all. So that's why he wasn't, he ain't been able to get this King of Wands yet because see, he dancing with the devil. So Holy Spirit, what exactly happened for this plan to harm this Empress? What happened for this plan to fall through, Holy Spirit? Because look, cut the deck on the Empress because this woman is spiritually protected. And this King of Wands, you know, I just really, I don't got no respect for him. I don't. I don't got no respect for him. Because I'm telling you, whatever we finna find out that caused this plan to fall through is the only reason why he wanted to disconnect. Because some shit hit the fan. And now he running scared. It ain't because he felt bad about what was being done against his divine feminine. Now, clarify, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. And that's the shame. A lot fell out. Let's see. We have the Hierophant. I'm telling you, the only reason why this man is in the Page of Cups, Ten of Cups, about this Empress is because the big boys is involved. They know the courts, law enforcement, this group organization here, they know what these people was doing. They know this devil meant that this King of Wands was well aware of and wasn't going to try to do anything to, to stop. So that's conspiracy energy. This man might go to jail still regardless because he knew what they was planning to do against his twin flame. Y'all see what then came out here. We got one more card that fell. Two of wands. He knew of the plan against his divine feminine. And even when there was indication that things were not going as as they expected, he could have planned an exit, a transition away from these people by telling the truth, letting it be known what was coming, what they were trying to do against this woman, but he didn't do that shit. So he is guilty, okay? So again, I do feel like this is coming out because the Holy Spirit wants this divine feminine to know. Stop trying to save this man. Stop trying to protect him with your divine energy. There's a lesson that he needs to learn that he's running from now. and He's being able to escape because you won't release him to go on his own journey to pay his own penance. This man don't, don't need to keep escaping his penance, his karma. For what he did to his twin flame. He need to learn that lesson. God want him to learn that lesson. But if his divine feminine is asking God. Please God. Keep him safe. Don't let nothing happen to him. Even though. A week ago. He sat there and watched people plan her death. You know God gonna st may still be like okay. Because you are his. Divine Feminine, and I love you, and I fuck with you. So if you really want me to let him slide by this time, I'm going to let him slide by. But just know, this is who you let slide by. This is who you are asking me to possibly take an exception away from you in the future to give to him. That's also what's happening here, okay? So just be mindful. Be mindful with this high priestess here. Because this man knew what the fuck. This, this king of wands knew what the fuck these people planned to do to you. I don't give a damn. 
He ain't shit. He was going to sit right there and watch those people take you out the game. Why? Why, Holy Spirit? Because, see, this is crazy to me. Like I tell people, we need to know why. This King of this King of Pentacles was trying to figure out why, too. And I'm telling you, this Queen of Pentacles shoved a lot of shit up his, down his throat, rather. She shoved a lot of shit down his throat. But why were the, we, we already know why this queen of pentacles was trying to unalive, but alive this empress, but why was this king of wands going along with it? Because even if you don't want to be with somebody, that don't mean you got to try to kill them. Clarify Holy Spirit, because I'm telling you, I, I, this kind of crap right here, justice, that's why he felt like this was some form of justice against his divine feminine. Why did he feel like justice needed to be enacted against his divine feminine, the magician? Because he thought she was taking action against him, possibly doing magic against him. But the, the hoe that was doing the magic was this queen of pentacles. Clarify, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Because this is ridiculous. I wouldn't pray not near a prayer for this king of wands. Not near a prayer. The sun with the knight of swords with the page of cups. This queen of pentacles may be pregnant. That may be also how she got to get off the hook with this. In addition to whatever lies she told. And I do feel like this queen of pentacles used this pregnancy to refute her own actions in this situation. As if to say she wouldn't do anything like this or she didn't have anything to do with this. She's a mother. She's trying to take care of her children, be happy, be at peace. Possibly behind some action that this King of Wands took. Oh, she, I'm telling you, she she gave this King of Pentacles a sob story now. Somehow she was able to show this King of Pentacles or prove that she didn't plan this. This King of Wands did clarify. She was she was able to show this man that she was just being a mother, a loving companion, if nothing else. That if anything. This King of Wands was the one who was planning to take action against this Empress. She don't know this Empress. That's his ex-lover. She doesn't know why he would want to do that. Why would she want to do that? Why would she want to harm this woman? She doesn't know her. Look, death came out here. Y'all think I'm playing. I hear this woman. This woman laid it on thick with this King of Pentacles and he ate up every fucking bit of shit that she put on his plate. Because she blamed this plan to unalive this Empress on this King of Wands. Death is falling right up under this King of Wands. And I don't know how she did it. Whoever this flunky was that she was using to help come up, help carry out this plan, he went along with whatever this Queen of Pentacles said, though. I bet you that. So if he if he lying with her and saying this King of Wands did it, it's two against one right now. And that's what I'm getting here. Nine of Swords. Back out here. That's why this King of Wands is running. That's why this King of Wands is trying to avoid this King of Pentacles chariot energy. Because he know he knows these people have turned on him. He turned on his divine feminine. And this karmic and her flunky have turned on him. How did this flunky get caught up? Because I'm telling you, that's who. He changed his mind about something here. Four of cups to the eight of cups. Then he went right to the damn emperor and told it all. Why? It's given divine intervention. All of this is. Nine of pentacles then came out here. Let me tell you why. Because the hit man... Took one look at who he was supposed to be knocking off. And he knew that it was some bullshit. He knew this woman was not worthy of what he had been ordered to do against her. 
She coming out as the Nine of Pentacles now. This Divine Feminine. He changed his mind. He could see this woman was not deserving of what this Queen of Pentacles said, but he still is not. It's like he's still trying to use his get out of free jail, get out of jail free card by teaming up with her. But I feel like whoever this masculine is, it's almost like he can see why this King of Wands may have even been in some type of partnership with this empress at one point. He could see why this queen of pentacles was jealous. He could see why she was wanting to hurt her. He could see that this divine feminine truly was some type of divine, special anointed energy. He could see all of that. This this hitman may have even fallen for this, and that's what happened, boy, because they go just as sure as shit stank, thinking that this person ain't no good, and that they need to carry out whatever they want to do, and a true divine being be touching these people's souls and spirits where no one has been able to touch them before. Okay, because some of these people have been traumatized in other ways by motherfuckers, but ain't nobody to ever been able to touch their soul and spirit in such a divine way as these people that they run up on, that they supposed to harm. And when they interact with these energies, you know, that's that divine intervention. It's almost like they can see the the anointing on these people they can see that this is somebody that i should not fuck with that this person ain't done nothing that if anybody need to be fucked with it's the person who sent me okay that's that's what this hitman energy saw he got truth and clarity about who he was supposed to harm and he wasn't with it. But I feel like he feels some type of way about this King of Wands. Let me tell you why. Because he that he looking at this Nine of Pentacles like this King of Wands stupid. This King of Wands ain't shit for going along with this Queen of Pentacles to put this woman in regret. To hurt this woman. See, because he could look at this Nine of Pentacles Empress energy and see that she did not deserve none of what was being thrown at her. None of it. And I'm telling you, Eight of Cups out here for him again. He let this plan go. But he got caught up for something else. Something else happened that this man got caught up and he had to go ahead and come clean about something and his get out of jail free card was revealing what this queen of pentacles had done but he put the blame on the king of wands as well y'all i'm telling you i'm telling you he sat right there like they be doing on used to do on for, first 48 i don't even know if that show is still on but he, he sat right there at that damn table. They probably got his ass a bag of chips and a soda. And he told it. But he put all the blame on this King of Wands and this Queen of Pen. I'm really getting that if that these people said if anything ever happened, if anything ever fell through with this plan, we putting it on this King of Wands. And they did that shit. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Because this Queen of Pentacles has been able to move on to Palmer Waters. Nine of Wands. And this King of Wands out here pressed, baby. Pressed. This man is running from a police officer, detective, investigator energy. And tonight, that this King of Pentacles was sure that he had been caught up with this King of Wands. But divine intervention kicked in because... This King of Wands twin flame has been praying for his protection, for his healing. 
And that technically is what has been happening. But the Holy Spirit wants this divine feminine to know that this is who you praying for. This is who you're asking for protection for. You really need to be asking for, for protection from this motherfucker. Because I, I see he in regret. But I'm telling you, he only in regret. Because this hitman got caught up and told on his ass. Even if he wasn't the one who came up with the plan. He still told on his ass. He was still there. He was still around. He knew about it. And what did he do to try to stop it? This man did not try to say anything to let you know even of what was coming towards you. He didn't say shit. He didn't even have to go try to rat nobody out to the police. He could have let you know. He could have stopped fucking with this hoe when he found out what she was up to and let you know because you're at a distance, Empress. He knew. Well, he was well aware of what these people were, were planning to do. So, you know, if they chose to turn on him and make him the fall guy, these same people that he was cool and kicking it with about a month ago, okay, about a week ago, something like that here now, this is, this is real time type of shit I'm picking up on. Like tonight, the police, this King of Pentacles, went to a location thinking they were going to finally get this king of wands and he narrowly escaped type vibe, okay? With this eight of wands to this nine of cups. But it's, I'm telling you, it's because his divine feminine prayed for him. And she just need to be mindful about who she praying for, okay? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? And I'm dropping the mic on this Seven of Swords. Like I said, she need to be mindful of who she praying for. Because I, I just don't see this. I don't see no love out here for this Divine Feminine. I see where he, he wished that he wouldn't have did what he did against her. With this Page of Cups to this Ten of Cups. He been daydreaming about her. But he ain't trying to, he, he ain't tried to make it right. Because this man could even right now go ahead and face the music with this King of Pentacles and tell him the truth. And I feel like that would clear a lot of things up. Because there's some holes in this Queen of Pentacles and this Hitman story. But he running scared. He don't want to face personal responsibility for what he was aware of and witnessed. But if he would man up, he could possibly, I, I feel like he's still going to get in some trouble now. One of y'all twin flames, he about to go to jail. Okay, that's just what that is. As soon as this King of Pentacles get catch up with him, Page of Swords, as soon as he figure out where he at, as soon as he get that intelligence about where he headed to next, he finna arrest this man. And he might get him this time, because if this Divine Feminine here this reading, I doubt very seriously she going to be praying for his safety like she was. Six of Pentacles. I feel like this man got some family members who might tell where he at this next time around. There might be a family member who is poss possibly helping this man out, helping this King of Wands out who is going to expose his next location. Clarify, Holy Spirit. This is a lot right here, but this is all, this is, says it all right here. We got the Three of Swords and the Knight of Wands. So this is, this Six of Pentacles ain't no, no family. It's a, it's a third party here. This is somebody he possibly is camping out at their house, okay? Somebody that he thought he could trust with this Five of Swords in reverse, but this person is about to get, about to tell on this man, he finna get locked up, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I just said that. You see what's out here. Because whoever this third party is, this side piece energy I'm picking up on, 
Three of Swords with the Knight of Wands. This man has already done something to this person. Just like he didn't he didn't betray this empress. He's betrayed this third party that he now getting shelter from. And this third party gonna tell on his ass. He thinks she ain't mad no more. He thinks she over whatever he did to her. But she not over it. And she gonna tell on him. Okay. He think he gonna be able to move on to calmer waters. But the six of swords is in the deck in reverse. This man is about to be apprehended. He missed, he missed it. This king of pentacles missed him this time. And I'm telling you, it was because of that lady prayer. But not, not this next time around. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. Because whoever this emperor energy is that's given this king of pentacles the authority to go ahead to get, track this man down for trying to take this woman life or that's what they think, okay? This emperor ain't playing no motherfucking games. He gonna find, he gonna find whatever household this man at, he gonna find that shit. He will locate this king of wands and i'm telling you whoever this third party is that's giving him recluse sanctuary right now that's gonna be the one to spill the beans okay because this man need to learn this man need to learn he need to learn i just said it three times he really feel like he can snake his way out of this situation and again, no, he didn't plan it, but he was well the fuck aware of it. And he didn't do anything to warn this twin flame energy or try to stop it. So I'm going to drop the mic here. I hope this message helps someone. I hope it gives you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.